Ladies and gents, I'm jumping on GT Sport mad late. It's like two something in the afternoon, but I had other shit to do. So I'm jumping on here pretty late. I'm getting on here because one of my homeboys on IG told me uh, the drifting Kyoto Miyabi track is uh, it's pretty sick. So what I'm going to do is drifting in VR. Now, I really wouldn't live stream, especially having the camera showing me in VR because this looks hella stupid. But I'm going to do it today just because uh, lately a lot of people have been really wondering, like, drifting on this game with the wheel, is it hard, blah, blah, blah. I don't think it's hard only because I do it in real life and been doing it with the wheel on the game for ages. So I don't know, but you'll get to see how stupid I look with this on and how I'm utilizing the wheel um, during drifting and get to see me make some mistakes on Miyabi track. So let me cut VR on and hit this VR tour. All right, I don't know why it shuts everything down while I'm setting it up, but it's all set up now. All clear. All right. Now this was the track, <laughs> that thing looks so dumb. All right, this was the track that he wanted me to try out and I'm always a stickler for lighting, so we're gonna go with the sunset here. Let me get this damn cable out the way. This is the most annoying thing about the VR is this cable. Um, And now it's gonna start getting caught on my chair. This is terrible. Somebody come up with an option. A separate resource for that. <sighs> All right, we're going to use the uh, GRMN FRS, uh, slightly tuned. It's got about 300 horsepower. Which isn't really much, especially for a track as large as uh, this one that we're jumping on right now. Uh, livery design? Yeah, I did that. Um, super basic. I really couldn't come up with anything for the FRS. So let's go. Obviously, anytime you go to VR, which is an annoying thing, going ahead up with a car. Why don't you just let me do my own thing with VR? But, uh, yep, still got my drift setting, drift tune. Actually, yeah, 315 horsepower. I was about to say, it shouldn't have much more than 300. All right, so let's see what this track operates like. Oh, this is that oval, or... Semi over. This is so slow. This is like Suzuka East. What the heck? Just pinned in fourth gear. I might want to try the other Kyoto track. Off it. This is kind of boring. But we'll send it. Breaking a little bit. 
this game really does need smoke. It'd be cool as hell to see out the back side of the car with mad smoke in my mirror or something. Got some grass, push the clutch in. You don't want to get that spin out off of that. Yeah, see, this isn't really technical. I rarely lift off the throttle yet. I mean, I guess it's... Uh, just stay floored. Pro throttle control. That was a wall. That would be sick right there. They should add a wall right there so we can do some wall rides. on that one. Alright, let's try to get a fast entry on this. Just about to send it. I left for a break, didn't maybe wash out. This car doesn't have a lot of torque. Couldn't push itself out of that. Well, let's go catch up with this cat right here. So on the replay, we can try and get some good uh, camera views. And also, as you can see, this car does actually handle pretty good until I hit the wall. I shouldn't say shit. <laughs> Uh, on Comfort Hards, you can make a car handle good if you've got a, a good alignment and good setup. How many laps we got left? We got one more. I'm make this guy be my camera car. Right now, I'm too fast for him. Get out of here with that. Now, why would you do that? Track's all right, but it's just like Suzuka. There's really nothing about it. It's just long turn after long turn after long turn. <sighs> that could be boring for sure. So, um, I want to try the other Kyoto track. I can never remember the uh, names of these courses. That's one of my biggest downfalls or annoying... Um, I think it's this one. Yeah, I think so. We'll try it. That's one of my biggest uh, pet peeves with this game is all the fantasy tracks that they did. It's not cool. Like, I want to drive real life tracks, especially with VR. Going on a real life track with VR and I get to fully experience everything around that's at the real track, especially places that I've been before and get to look at all of those markers and be like, hey, 
that's really there. That's really over there. And just really live the experience again. Those are the dope parts about experiencing VR and having real tracks. All these fantasy tracks, eh, not really into it. But uh, let's see what we can get on this course here. Because like I said, this is a faster, longer course. And I'm looking for more technical experience. So the same driving park you can see right over there on the left, that's the uh, course that we were just on. I'm flat out fourth gear. This track is fast as hell. Oh, I looked at it and went over there. I just killed myself um all right so let me respect this track a little bit better Catch me out. That initiation was sick. I'm doing that again. <laughs> I'm just going to maintain the angle better. Damn, what speed can I hit that in? Jesus. Okay. okay. I'd rather kill myself here than do something like that in real life. clutch kicks for. I was just watching a video earlier where I was looking at a dude who was just 
consistently clutch kicking his car through a turn to try to get wheel speed. That's really not what you would use clutch kicks for, to be honest. Um, you can use the clutch kick for something very slight, like if you chuck it real hard like this to catch your wheel speed and then bring the car back into grip. See this? I'm doing that to catch wheel speed, to slow it down, not to actually get more power out of it. Because when you slow the wheel speed down, you maintain some traction. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Get, get back in order, little dog. try to catch up with this guy so we can use him as a camera car. He might break somewhere. It's gonna come out pretty sick, except for this part right here. But that's gonna come out really sick. are pretty fun um so uh the comment of me going to these tracks actually came up on one of the ig videos i posted about wrecking through willow springs and hating the suzuki east courses because <sighs> typically every room that's a drift room that pops up is going to be suzuki east and i get so sick of doing suzuki east but one of my favorite courses to go to in reverse Oh, maybe I should do Horse Thief. Mmm, I'll do Horse Thief next. My favorite course to go to is obviously Willow Springs, but in reverse, Willow Springs is the jam. So, we're going to try to do Willow Springs in VR in reverse. Um, I've put a lot of miles in, both in real life and on this game, on Willow Springs. And, um... Typically, well, for me, because I don't drive extremely high horsepower car in real life either, there's really only one way to run the course, and that's fast as hell. Don't rely on any power, just rely on motion and movement. So, I'm going to do that. Man, this looks good. Wait, what the hell just happened there? On this game, this handbrake does not activate strongly, so that was a shocker. Alright, whatever. Right, we're off to a 
corn start. This is one of my favorite parts of the course right here. Just going into this bowl is the shit. The sun is crazy. I would really want to <laughs> block my eyes because it is so realistic. God, that sun is intense. Where's the sun visors at? And this portion right here is the video that I shot at All-Star Bash when Justin Pollock flew past me and I was chasing him down. And I cannot initiate that fast to save my freaking life. Dirt Drop sent me a little further out than I wanted to be. But anyway, we'll keep it rocking. <laughs> Now I know everybody always sees people using the GTA 6s on. Let me let me nail this initiation this time. You heard of me? Ah, uh, mischief. Damn. Another one. That's a small quirk the Grand Tourist Run needs to correct. You cannot make any quick gear changes unless you're all the way off of the throttle. So, pulling all the way off the throttle before you push the clutch in and getting in gear. See, like that right there. If you try to rush shift, it doesn't work. Try this entry again. But yeah, like I was saying, everybody uses GTA 6s all the time because they have the most steering lock. F your cones. So I'll use a different car aside from. GTA 6. It's just transitioning back and forth and back and forth. Let's see if we can nail this again. I can only see those cones right there. The sun is so intense. Caught the dirt, straightened me up. So with the handbrake thing I was mentioning now on the first go around. So people hold the handbrake button and it 
acts as if it's a slow pull. If you tap the handbrake button, it acts as a quick yank. See, like that. So when you initiate, if you press and hold it, it responds slowly. Um, oh, that was the last one. So those little quirks make the game a little bit better once you realize tapping the handbrake makes it react quicker so you can do a tap tap hold which will be quick initiation then to a long pull on long initiations those are the best ways to to make it work out I want to do something different so I'm gonna try mm, I'm gonna run the Mustang on horse thief mile Where is it at? Where the heck is my staying at? Oh, there it is. It's under the damn camera. Under the screen. I couldn't see it. Alright, so we're going to try this Mustang on Horse Thief. I'll do early morning which should be a blast theoretically, but everybody uses the GTH 6 because of the steering angle, the ease of drift with the car. Mustang's a little trickier. Um, matter of fact, any other car is a little trickier, but uh, apparently they are uploading uh, Chris Forsberg Z. Can't wait to get my hands on that and take all of that damn livery off the car and put my own on it. I will definitely be using that car. Um, yeah, we're definitely going to see a man in a suit standing at Water Tower. Nah, V. Oh, actually, where's my drift set up? Alright, let's see what happens here. Horse Thief freaking Mile. Ooh, she gets some wheel speed, boy. This should be interesting if I could ever climb this hill. It's just burning rubber. Go, go, go. God, this thing gets some wheel speed. And you can definitely tell the difference in the wheelbase. This thing is outrageously slow given the amount of power it has. Let me mess with suspension a little bit. Because this bad boy should definitely be pushing forward. And there's on comfort medium tires too, my boy? Come on. see what happens here oh actually what's the diff look like all right let's try it again
I don't know if it's the weight of the vehicle, it just feels real sluggish, but it seems like it's getting there. experienced horse thief Jesus in real life extremely high steep hills um, so not having the best tire applied which I'm starting to think maybe on this track I should go with a stickier tire for sure Standing up there on the hill. Ain't no flagman up there. This is the trickiest part. You want to go down and length this, but you got to stay wide right. you out and this car just seems to not like to pick up speed All right, come on let's go oh he's flagging let's flip it oh crap <laughs> whoa <laughs> stomach drop feeling crazy on that right there whoa all right, let's try a different tire. Um, matter of fact, <sighs> damn, that was impressive. All right, now this should be some pretty intense steering wheel work. Oh, see, it's got so much traction now. Some of traction. It's got too much traction. This is way too much time. 
I went for, look how deep and dark the skid marks are. You'll notice on this game when you change tires, they have a different property physically on the surface. So you see these skid marks are a whole lot different than the ones I was leaving before. Um, so that's a cool Easter egg for those of you that don't know too much about this game. This feels like the speeds I'm used to. Damn, that's almost full lock. Dang, this thing picks up. Oh man, it picks up so much speed now. I wanted it, I got it, right? Now, watch all the skid marks that have been left on the track now. God dang, this thing is unruly. Uh, <laughs> embarrassing myself with this much traction. Definitely need a more flat, more wide open track to get used to. Because uh, not only do the tires have a lot of traction, but my daggone suspension tune has a lot of traction too. Oh, mother effer, this is frustrating. Stop sliding. Oh my god. Am I stuck? Come on. to get the brakes touched. Dude about to lap me over there. If you touch the brakes, the front end takes you in like crazy. Enough of this. See him waving the flag. I'm jumping this bad boy. Let's see if we can do a barrel roll. Get some dukes of hat. Oh shit! <laughs> All right, so cool. That's enough of that. I just wanted you guys to see what this drifting was like and see how stupid I looked in VR. And uh, yeah, we done.